In 2 Timothy chapter 3, read with me. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God. This right here, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. You could even read a little further. For of this sort of they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. What is the truth? The truth is the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 28, as Jesus is departing, he gives us our commission. He says, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Well, hello and welcome to number 13 in the series that I'm doing, Singing Lies to God. Today I'm going to be exposing a very, very troubling and startling aspect to the contemporary Christian music scene. If you've been with me long enough, you know who this is. I've done several expose videos on this fraud, Lauren Daigle. Um, here's the question. Should musicians be immune from spreading the gospel? Or maybe if you think like I do, they should be literally at the forefront of preaching the gospel, spreading the good news. That's what I think, because in many aspects, musicians have a vastly greater ability to reach the masses because music is such a powerful tool. What's happening within the contemporary Christian music scene? Well, Again, stay with me. I'm going to show you some very troubling patterns here. So right now we're at Lauren Daigle's website. I put this challenge out before. Um, and one of the most troubling aspects of the challenge that I put out uh, was that the people didn't care. And, and this was, what didn't they care about? Well, here's what they didn't care about. The fact that you can't find the name of Jesus Christ even one time on her website. Let me put that into perspective. The single most popular Christian singer on the face of the earth does not name the name of Jesus Christ even one time on her website. And of course, that also means that there is no gospel message. There's no invitation to salvation. There's no statement of faith. Is, does that strike anybody as absolutely bizarre. You can roll through these tabs and go ahead, search for the name of Jesus. It is crazy. Now, even if you click into the about section, you can scroll down and you can read her bio. So we're at Lauren's website. We're, this is number one. We're going to look at a, a lot of websites today very quickly. You'll see the pattern. A bio that includes discussion about Grammy awards that she's won, or as we go further into the other artists that we're going to look at, Grammy nominations. Now, the Grammys, the single greatest satanic music awards on the face of the earth, what business would any Christian singer have with this? Why would they care? Why should they care? Well, they shouldn't. This is called friendship with the world. Who cares if a Christian singer wins a Grammy? That's actually not a good thing. It kind of tells you that if the world likes them, uh, <laughs> that's not a good thing. Uh, that means they're really not preaching the gospel because we know the truth of Jesus offends. Uh, this is, in, I would definitely call this a, a marker that demonstrates that she is not preaching the truth. And obviously, it's not anywhere to be found on her website. So I got a little curious and I wanted to do my own research. And uh, so here we go. We're at Mercy Me's website. Now, Mercy Me, I would certainly put at the absolute top of the list for Christian bands, uh, popularity worldwide. 
go through the tabs and see if you can find the name of Jesus Christ even one time. Um, but you'll certainly find all kinds of information on uh, the Grammy Award nominations. And just like in Lauren Daigle's case, uh, case, you'll always find a merch store. Got to get the merch out there. Here we go, the official online shop. And you can come down and get various t-shirts, hoodies, all kinds of stuff. Now, occasionally I would say, as we go through, you'll notice that you might find a Jesus t-shirt. But certainly void of anything resembling uh, the gospel message. Or again, even just the name of Jesus Christ. It is amazing. How does that happen in these end times when mankind needs to hear the good news of Jesus Christ? So here we are at For King and Country's website. I would call them uh, today's version of Wham! Only in Christian Music. Again, the challenge is here. Go through the tab. See if you can find the name of Jesus Christ even one time. Now, by golly, if you go through and find it, well, I'll certainly repent. I couldn't find it. Again, true to the pattern of what I'm seeing, you get Grammy talk. Uh, they like to brag about, look at this, was a four-time Grammy award-winning duo. And again, what fellowship hath light with darkness? Why should a Christian, or I, why would a Christian care about winning Grammy? Look at Grammys, Grammys. And they go through their songs. Here's Grammys. Incredible. No message of salvation. And of course, not even the name of Jesus Christ mentioned even one time. Here we are at the website of Toby Mac. Now, again, I know a lot of you already know what I know about this guy, but the fact remains he's one of the most popular, uh, and I loosely categorize him as a Christian singer. Nevertheless, he's played all over the Christian radio stations and, you know, on and on and on. But again, the challenge is there. Find the name of Jesus Christ. And again, if you do find it, I apologize. But as you go through, you can certainly find out about uh, the different Grammy Award nominated things. If we scroll down here, uh, let's see, look at um, seven time Grammy uh, winner and multi platinum artist Toby Mac. Uh, they want to brag about that. They'll tell you about the songs. And of course, if you really want to stick to the pattern, here's the merch store. Now, I was a little surprised. Here's a, a t shirt that has the name of Jesus on it. Uh, but again, it's a t shirt. No mention of salvation. Um, oppositely, kind of strange is a backwards Jesus freak, uh, which is questionable at best. So, again, knowing the history of this guy, his obsession with one eye Illuminati symbolism. Uh, it should be par for the course of this. Get yourself a Toby Mac tie-dye elements hoodie. The merch store is over there. So again, keep in the pattern. No mention of Jesus Christ. No message of salvation. There's the merch store. And of course, the Grammy nods. Want to let you know that he was award, uh, uh, received awards from a satanic organization, the Grammys. Incredible. Here we are at Natalie Grant's website, completely inappropriate attire, uh, an aged woman trying to stay relevant. If you come in, you can, let's go to her about, let's see. Oh, look, eight-time Grammy nominee, Natalie Grant. Unbelievable. Um, you can learn about the tour, music. Oh, don't forget her merch store. Let me... Get out of that, and you can get yourself a jean jacket. Pray, slay, and repeat. Now, I, I actually do. I, I know she has some nice songs. But you see, again, in just kind of talking as we go here, this is what drives me crazy. If somebody heard a Natalie Grant song, and they were moved, and they cried, because a lot of people say, well, they, you know, their music brought me back to God. Really? Okay, so... Maybe in this particular case, somebody heard the song, they went to her website and couldn't find anything about uh, Jesus. That's a little troubling, especially when they have such an opportunity to share the gospel. But instead, 
you can get a trust in Jesus necklace. So I, here you go. I guess here you do have the name of Jesus. Unfortunately, it's in the merch store. Um, incredible. So again, the same pattern. No mention of the name of Jesus, particularly when it comes to um, talking about him or sharing the gospel, only found on the merch store. Uh, but certainly all the mentions of Grammy nominations or Grammy winners. And uh, you've got the merch store. So here we're at Carrie Job's website. All right, here you got your tabs. Let's go to about. For nearly two decades, well-respected worship leader, Terry Joe, blah, 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 Grammys. Incredible. So they want to make sure that they get that out there. But as you scroll through, uh, well, I guess that's it for her about section. You can see her videos, photos, events. What? Oh, look, a store right on par. Should we shop now? Let's go shopping. I want to get my beanie. So it's important, get yourself a t-shirt. I am not alone. So all kinds of merch you can get. Oh, let's see if there's anything interesting on the second page. Uh, looks like some albums. I don't know what else that is. So definitely, again, all the same pattern. Here we are at Chris Tomlin's website. I don't know, do you think Chris, one of the most popular Christian singers out there, you can read about the news. You can read about the tour. Of course, uh, Angel Armies. Now, some of them do have links to organizations that do some wonderful charitable work. But who cares? Where is the gospel of Jesus Christ? Let's see if it's in the merch store. No, nope, not there. Chris plugging his new album, which is quite disturbing. He's got an owl and a pyramid on it. Or you can get yourself a Blessings t-shirt. You find the name of Jesus or anything resembling an invitation to salvation? I can't. Go do it. Check it all out for yourself. You might see some other other troubling things. Here we are at the Newsboys. Very popular. Uh, go through the tab. See if you can find the name of Jesus. See if you can find anything that resembles a statement of faith or an invitation to salvation. Uh, what you will find are grown men wearing pretty much tights. Skinny jeans, uh, very effeminate looking. Well, Drew, Drew, you're such a judger. Well, uh, we kind of are a little troubled at what we see in these end days with the way that alleged men are dressing, but I digress. But again, no gospel message, no mention of the name of Jesus Christ. This is incredible. Here we are at Michael W. Smith's website. Of course, he recently regain some popularity being one of 7,000 people to do his own version of Waymaker, I believe. Again, go through, see if you can find the name of Jesus Christ mentioned even one time or a statement of faith or the gospel message. No, let's check his about. I wonder if he stayed true to the other pattern that we were looking for. Let's see. Right out, they start telling, well, look, he's a best-selling author and acclaimed actor. Oh, he's an acclaimed actor. Michael W. Smith continues to live out his dream. <laughs> that, that's, I guess, par for the course. Um, oh, here you go. Grammy Awards, so all bragatory about winning satanic uh, Grammy Awards, Dove Awards, American Music Awards. This is all worldly. He sold more than 15 million albums. So uh, talked about him giving back to the global community. How about Jesus? Oh, here, look. His longtime friend Bono from YouTube. Um, yeah, it's, it's incredible. Friendship with the world. Well, Drew, that's just, you're just jealous, Drew, and you're, you're being very judgy. It, it's incredible. What an opportunity these musicians have to reach the masses with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And they blew it. They're blowing it. Are, are you stunned? Is this incredible? I am. You've heard of David Crowder. Crowder. Same thing. Go through the tabs. Find the name of Jesus. Oh, here you've got Crowder's store. What's he got? What's Crowder got? I call him the Bob Dylan of Christian music. Oh, so you've got, oh, here, here's, a, here's an oldie, but I should say a new one, but a, but a goodie. 
you can get uh, face masks. So COVID face masks, but no mention of the name of Jesus Christ, no mention of the gospel of salvation. You get yourself some hats, apparel, always good for the merch store. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm getting a little long on time here, but um, I'm sure somewhere in there he's got some information about his Grammy nominations, if that happened. All right, so you're getting the idea. I don't need to go through every single one of these. Uh, it's just sometimes when it's accompanied by a visual, it's, it's hard to believe, but it is true. You can check yourself. Popular Christian artists that do not mention the name of Jesus Christ on their websites are a message of salvation. Mercy Me for King of Country, Lauren Daigle, Carrie Job, Natalie Grant, Toby Mac, Chris Tomlin, Danny Gokey, The Newsboys, Michael W. Smith, Crowder, Matt Marr, Phil Wickham, Sandy Patty. She's been around forever. Does not mention the name of Jesus Christ. Matt Redman, Jordan Felice, Torn Wells, Big Daddy Wee. Wow. Try to absorb that information. All right, so what's the point of me bringing all this information forward, other than it being absolutely shocking? Here's why I do this. Again, musicians have an incredible reach. Uh, music is such an incredible tool where we could certainly reach the masses with the gospel, and it's right now virtually rendered null and void. Now, do they sing songs? Uh, with the name of Jesus? Sure, some of them do, because I know a lot are going to come at me and say, well, they, you know, Drew, they said Jesus in this song and that song, and, you know, I get it. But as far as the effectiveness, are they just bands and singers doing just about the same thing that the world does? And I would say, yes, they are. There's no difference. Look at, for crying out loud, they're collaborating with actual whores like King and Country here. And for those of you that get, well, well, Dolly is a national treasure. No, she's not. She actually played a madam in a movie. I mean, she's made a living off of her bosom. We know this. What fellowship does darkness have with light? It, it should not be. But these are narcissistic artists who care not for the truth of Jesus Christ. They're out selling their own brand. What's their brand? Them. And even the hypocrisy goes further. If you guys remember, I guess this would be 2014. Uh, here's the headline. Natalie Grant walked out from the Grammys after viewing Katy Perry's satanic performance. Do you remember when that happened? And um, that was the same. Hold on a second. I'll show you in just a second. But the story goes that Natalie Grant, who, by the way, shouldn't have been at the Grammys in the first place. Why was she there? Did she not expect satanic things to happen? But the worst part was uh, when we found out that she walked out, I think a lot of us are like, all right, you know, that's great. A Christian singer walked out. Well, she severely downplayed it and made a lot of excuses as though, no, no, that wasn't it. Or she didn't, you know, take a firm stand and fight. Um, but she really couldn't because a Christian singer, a Christian artist, has no business being at the Grammys in the first place. And of course, I'm not sure if it was the same year or the next year when ACDC took the stage at the Grammys. And again, why wouldn't they? The Grammys are of the world. And they did their rendition of Highway to Hell where they, they passed out these little plastic horns uh, and almost everybody was wearing them. Here's Katy Perry thoroughly enjoying her satanic ride through fame and fortune. Why would a Christian singer be here? This is a ceremony of epic satanic proportion. So I'm going to wrap this up. We're in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. What it says in verse 14, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? It's incredible. Uh, it goes on further saying, Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. It is amazing. All right, so possibly a suggestion here. 
If you have time, if you have the energy, go to these artists' social media and uh, let them know. Let them know that uh, more is expected from them. Stop selling out to the industry and start preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Do I want you to shill, troll them? No. But certainly they do need to be held accountable. We're in the end times. People desperately need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. They have a fantastic platform and they need to be told. So if you have time, certainly do that if you can. And uh, otherwise, for those of you that love Jesus Christ in truth and sober-mindedness and sincerity, God bless you.